Hello everybody, Alex here from Snake on Exotics. And today I've got some jobs on, so we're gonna go around, we're gonna do stuff with all our new baby snakes. So uh, we're just gonna, we're gonna be doing um, fresh bedding and um, water bowls and stuff like that, just giving them a check over, ready for feeding day tomorrow. We won't be handling, but we're giving them just a once over, checking everything's okay. And then, uh, then we do have a bearded dragon set up to do today. So we've got a big tank down there to build. We've got all the stuff we need to do it. So I'll show you exactly what you need for a bearded dragon setup, and then uh, I'll set it all up and show you how to do it. It's quite easy. So uh, yeah, and we'll crack on and we'll have a good day. So please like, subscribe, comment and share, ring that bell for me, and I shall see you in a bit. I haven't been around and turned the lights on yet, and I have noticed our arowana has jumped across again. But I don't think he's just jumped across. I've never seen him with a belly so big. Look at his belly, look how swole he is. He's been eating my fishes. He's been eating my fishes. He's definitely had one of these fishes. Definitely. So we're gonna have to chuck him back across. We can't be having him eating our fishes. Naughty arowana. So we're gonna have to catch him at some point today and put him back in his tank. So naughty. So I've got all my lights on. So let's get our naughty arowana back where he's meant to be. Should, it's hard to get the look at it on the camera, but he's, I've never seen his belly so big. So, he's scaring all my penguin tetras. They're all hiding underneath the logs, so we can't be having that. So we're gonna net him out, put him back where he's meant to be. Uh, help if I had a net, wouldn't it? Whoop up. So let's get him caught up. Let's see how we get up. You can see how big his belly is, he's huge. Okay, so. Oh, that'll do. <laughs> that'll do, buddy. <laughs> he jumped across himself. Who's a good boy? Yes, he is. So we shut the lid. There we go, successful jump across. Lovely, lovely, lovely. There is little fishes in here, they keep coming across. They keep swimming between the tanks. There's a little gap between the tank and this, the beam. And the odd little fishy swims across. There's two little fishes in there at the moment. Don't you be eating my fishes. It's not went a lot easier than planned. <laughs> Didn't even get a chance to net him, you just went <laughs> into the next one. We get all the stuff together we need for the bearded dragon tank. So we need the UV light, very important, 14%, 12 to 14% is acceptable. Uh, it's got a bearded dragon on it, so that's a good hint. <laughs> so we're gonna whop this in, in our four foot tank. Lovely, lovely. We also need a bulb holder. So this, coincidentally, holds the bulb. So I've got two to choose from. I can use this one, or we could be fancy and use this one. So we've got two to choose from. So we'll get both of them. We'll have a think which one we want to use. Then we need a cage for the bulb. It's very important that is because bearded dragons like getting close to the heat. So we need to stop them touching the bulb. So we've got round ones or we've got square ones. We go square. We go square. We go square. So there's our little square one. There we go. Then we need a heat bulb. So we've got a four foot tank. So we need at least a hundred watt bulb. So I know all my fittings are screw fittings, which is ES. So um, there we go. Nice hundred watt bulby. That will do us lovely jubbly. Then we need something to control the heat. We don't want it just going willy-nilly, so we need a thermostat. Thermostatus maximusus. There we go. So that is all the electrics we need to build the bearded dragon tank. Okay, so I'm at the point now where I'm going to start adding some of the electrics. So what I do is I build it upside down. So that is actually the roof. So, um, or the top. Uh, so what I do 
is I'll then lay out all the equipment in the position so I know there's space for everything. I'll show you how I do that. And then uh, we'll put all the equipment in, finish building it, flip it over, and then we've got it done. And then we can put the glass in, which is the right way up. Uh, so we'll do that, and then we can crack on and do some more jobs with some of, some of the animals uh, once I've finished building it. And I've shown you what we've got to do. First bit, we need to get our UV light out. So we get our UV light out. Ah! Nearly dropped the bulb. Nearly dropped the bulb. <laughs> okay, so let's lay this out and then we're going to lay the ceramic bracket. No, ceramic bulb holder. This goes right at the back in the middle ish if we can. Something like that. You don't want it touching, you want a little bit of a gap. And then let's work out which one we're going to use. So we can use this one or we can use this one. Now, this one has a big U bracket that brings it down. This one is an L bracket, but we can flatten that out and have it really, really close to the top. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to leave that one and we're going to have this one. And I'm going to show you a little trick I do so we can get the bigger bulb in the smaller cage. Because the last thing we want is a massive big cage, like 90% of the tank is cage. We don't want that. So we're going to change it up a bit and do my little, my little trick out. So, we can get it to come out. Come out! Come out, beastie! Get out of the box! Get out! It's, I don't know why they like the box so much. Get out! Wah. Okay, so this would normally be like that. On a bracket like that, on a wall. But I don't use it like that. What we do, what we do, you see, is we get this thin metal and we go, hey! and we flatten it down. We go, hey! Hey! nice and flat. And then it, we do a little kink here. So we put it flat and then we bend it that way. Now it's nice and level. And we've got our nice little plants there. And look how close it is to the back. So we can then put another cage on it. So what we'll do is we then have it like this. No, this one. We'll have it like this. And then put the cage around it and we work out where we're going to go. So we shall get the cage, work out where some stuff's going to go, and then we can crack on. What we need to work out is, so at some point you're gonna to have to change the bulb. So you're gonna need access to these springs. And what you don't want is it like that because you physically can't get to the spring. So we want it a good distance away so we can get to the spring. It's usually fist. So if you're gonna be the one changing the bulb, make sure it's your fist that fits in there. You don't want some tiny little kid's fist in there and you can't get your big hand in there. So that's perfect for me. I can get my hand in there, undo these quite easily. Got the same there, same here, all the way around. Lovely, lovely, lovely. The only thing is we'd move this into the centre once we've got it all screwed down. Uh, then this, we've got plenty of room here so we can still access everything uh, and then we, we should be sweet. So that's how we'd laid it out. So we do this first because this is the most fiddly one and then we can do this one which is just two screws but they do give you the wrong equipment. So if we get it to come out, there it is, that's what we wanted. Ah, oh, the bulb, the bulb, the bulb, the bulb. Okay, bulb, it's okay, it's okay, bulb's okay. Now stay, bulb, stay, stay. Okay, so, I was doing, oh yeah. So this is what comes with the UVB kit. So, you think, okay, I'll screw these into the wood and then that holds it down, okay, but, Look at it, it's gonna stick out a mile. So we don't use them, we can just Don't need them. Don't need these. Don't need these. We need that, because that goes in the one end, because these can work in series. So if you had another one of these, there's another wire that you can link them across, so you only need one power cable powering multiple. And this covers that hole when you're not using it. So then we need some little screws, so I'll get some little screws. And then we'll screw this in, screw this in, and away we go. Two choices at the moment. I could either use the crazy drill, which is extremely dangerous, or I could just screw it in. So I think I'm gonna try and just hand manually screw it. 
that sounded bad. Um, so we're just going to use the, the screwdriver to put in the screws. That sounds better. And then uh, we can crack on then and get everything else done. Because I don't want to use that crazy drill because it's crazy, basically. Got me little screws. So these are good, but they don't have much thread on them. These are probably just about right. Uh, I think these ones would just pip through. Or if it was a thick piece of metal, you'd get away with it. But I don't think we'll use them. So we've got these two to choose from. So I think we'll use these for this. So, little tip. You get the screw in the place you want. Like so. Then you hold it with as much as you can. And you want to put tons and tons of pressure on it. And what that does, it then forces it into the wood. So then when you start turning, it's already going in. So it goes slightly askew, it's not the end of the world. As long as it holds our thing up in the air, that's what we want. A couple more twisters. And there we go. That now is in. So we're absolutely lovely jubbly. So we can put that there. And we can test our fists. Yes. 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 Oh no, it's gonna fit that side. Uh, so now we can screw this one in. This one's handy. Comes with the screws, which helps us a lot. So there we go, we get all this lined up, we grab ourselves a screw. You can't beat a free screw, we love a free screw. So we get this lined up in the right position so our bulb is smack bang in the middle. Now this isn't gonna, oh, I've got it slightly wrong. So you can see the screwdriver isn't quite right. We've got a bit of wiggle room in it so I need a bigger screwdriver as we're gonna be skipping and going all over the place. So we've got a much beefier screwdriver. So when we put it in there, it's solid in there now. There's no wiggle, there's no play, there's no nothing. So we get this lined up again, the waste we want it, and then we put a load of pressure on it first, and then we twist. And then that then gives us a little start, so then we can just twist it then, and she's going in. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So I'll do the other three, and then uh, we are then on to putting our UV light in. I've just put our bulb in, and all I've done is I've put a little bit of a concave on our cage. It gives us an extra couple of extra miller bulb. So we are, we are just a tiny bit high. We shut that down. Plenty of, listen, the bulb isn't touching. We've got plenty of gap. So I'm happy with that, so we can use our holdy downers to hold it down. So we pull up the holdy down. Oh, just un unhook the holdy down or uh oh there we go. So uh, stretchy stretchy. There we go. So there we go. We've got nice bulb, we've got nice bulb areas. So we've got plenty of gaps, plenty of space. And we can go down there, we, we can get it if we need to. Get this if we need to. We can go around and do stuff here. So that is perfect placement. I usually do, I've just put the wire in. So usually I have one one end, one the other. I don't like too many wires going through one hole. So uh, I've got that laid out there. So what we do is we space these out now. So we've got one there, and we've got one there. And then I shall, I oh, really only two hands for this, so. We lift it up and we slide it underneath. Just get the balance just slightly, like so. I do the same on the other side, and then we can lift it out, and we know where to screw our things in. So uh, I'll do that now, and I'll screw them in. So, there we go. We've got our two brackets screwed in, lovely jubbly. So then, this is the slightly awkward part. So they can be a bit of a pain to get them to clip in. So you want to hook the one side in. And then you can push down on the other side. Oh, it's hard to do, I have to admit. 
Okay, that's that one side in. So then we hook the one side, hook the other and push. There we go, that's our UV light in. So what we've got to do now is put the bulb in. We have our little rubber. This goes right there. See that little hole? If I can move this wire. There's a little hole there where this would go. So this would link to another one of these. So uh, you could have another tank next to it and you could be running in parallel and only have one plug. So we push this in here like so. I've got the right way, yes, I've got it the right way, it just doesn't want to go, there we go, lovely, lovely, lovely. And we'll just get the bulb, and that's that done, we can carry on building and flip it over, and we're away. And, there we go, lovely, lovely, lovely. To move it, because we had customers, but there we go, perfectly built, ready to go with all our gubbins all inside, looking good, we've got the glass in, there we go. So the only thing we'd have to do now is do the thermostat. So the thermostat, we'd have the heat probe coming out underneath the uh, the heat lamp. So where the glow of the light is, that's where we have our heat probe. And then uh, we plug the heat lamp into the heat into the thermostat, and then we're raring to go. So uh, we've got it over here, but I don't put it on because it sits on the top and it'll just be falling everywhere when we move it. So uh, we just put this inside and we let them install that. Just notice. By the looks of it, our red tail bow was shed yesterday. See the shed in the corner? So let's open it up, get it out, see if we've got some eye caps. Oakley, Oakley, Oakley. So, she's in the cave. We can just see her there. So we can have this. This is mine. This is mine. It's mine. We got it, we got it. And I can see an eye cap straight away. See the big circle round thing? Right there. See it? That's one eye cap, so we just need to find the other one. So you can see it right there. That's our little eye cap. So in theory, the other one shouldn't be too far away. But I'm guessing that's the head. So under here. Yeah, there it is, other eye cap. Absolutely lovely, lovely, lovely. So that's perfect to Monday. We've got one and two. So that can go in the bin and we're ready to go. Important we do that because it's like having a contact lens in your eye constantly. You're gonna get infections and really nasty stuff. So it's very important we check that because they can lose their eyes and go blind. Set it all up now so we can feed some of the fishes. So we've got to try and get our sleeper goby to eat something because he has he's, he had a little bit of the um we give him some beef heart yesterday um he had bits of it but he's left most of it so i'm gonna be trying to get him to have a little bit more today and then tomorrow i'm gonna be siphoning out all the food he hasn't ate because he's been a bit of a pain we're also going to be feeding some locusts or some of the oscars so uh we crack on to start feeding some of the animals what well, fishes Trying something a little bit different now. I'm trying to get it so we can see him splash and attack and everything. So we'll try our best, but it might be a bit of a pain to try and do. So we'll try it now. He's, he's coming up already. So we'll see if we can catch him doing all his splashes. Hello, buddy. I've got you a big fishy. Look at the size of that fishy. Oh, he's going mad for it. Come on in, buddy. Wow. Drenched me, absolutely drenched me. Yes. Oh, let's go and get him to do me again. Come on, buddy. Come on in. Oh, he took a bite. And another one. We drop it down to him. Come on, buddy. I don't think he's had enough. Never seen him refuse food. I think he's had enough. Woohoo, but he definitely he smashed all this. Wrong way. <laughs> the last bit, he was just being funny. Um, 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 um. So I've got a clip of him when he's got his full black markings on. 
So I'm going to put that clip on at the end of this so you can see what he's like when he's fully black. It looks like his crazy colours. So now we're going to sort of, I might have a little bit too much food now because he didn't eat as much as I thought he was. Uh, but we've got our go over to try and feed, so we're going to drop down some fish heads, see if he wants a fish head. Hello, my mate. So he's hiding out down there. So we're going to drop him a head and see what he does. You've seen it. What do you think to that, buddy? No? Eh? Bit too big? Ooh. A little bit too big. Okay. What about if I give you this little one? Oh, it floats. That doesn't help. You hungry, mate? No? I have got blood worm, but they're only small. Talking about some blood worm? No, sulking. Sulking he is. So we'll have to think of something else to feed him. Some, something else meaty. What I'm going to do, I'll end up siphoning all that food out because we can't let it in there because it's just going to ruin the, the quality of the water. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll let him chill, see if he eats the blood worm we've put in and then um, we can do a siphon tomorrow and get all the muck out. I did do quite a bit of food. We're going to do Snappy as well. Ooh. Okay, Snappy. He has been eating fish every so often. Happy. Are you awake? Happy. Can we see him? I can't see what he's doing. I can't see. We can't see. Snappy? He had one the other day, he hasn't seemed to add this one. Right, we'll leave him to it, we'll leave him to it. There's someone who might eat our fishy. Woohoo! Mr. Southin! Come here! Huh? He's being sulky. Turn in the bushes, pal. What's this? Oh, that fishy. And the last bit? Oh, he loves the fishies. He's a big boy. Give you a spray in a bit, yeah? We'll give you a spray. Skirt, let's see if he wants some. Let's try a fish head. Oh, he got it. He jumped up and got it. He jumped up and got it. He did it. He did it. He did it. Yummy, yummy. Another one. Oh, he's got it. Yummy, yummy, yummy. This Oscar's got the nicest bottom fins I've seen. If he drops them down, They've got white stripes on his bottom fins, have. He's got them tucked up to his belly so we can't see them. If he gets a chance, we'll have a look and get him to show you. Oh, so he's got the white little scoots. Lovely. We have our slightly littler Oskies. Hello, lads. Oh, give me a sec. We're blocked in. We're blocked in. There we go. Okay. Would you like some locusts? So we want medium, oh, we'll jump, we lost one, we lost one, he's down there, oh, we lost two. Oh, catchy, 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 catchy. Okay then, so we've got one. Whoa, two. He's seen it, but he's not sure. He's going. Oh, give it, is it a little bit big? What about that one? Oh, he's got it, he's got it. So come here, mate, we need you back. You were too big, you were too big. Yes, you were. I wonder if these are that one. Oh! Oh, oh, it's 
get some more. I think they would. Oh, he wants another one. Oh, he got it. He wants it, but he's got a mouth full of all the other one. Oh, he's going, he's going for it. Oh, he got it. There he goes. <laughs> Happy fishes. Are oh, you? Want to try one? I think she's seen it. No? Oh. What's she doing? That was some weird movements. I don't think she's gonna have it though, so we'll take it back out. Come here, buddy. In here with all our new fishes. What about that? Oh, they're all trying. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. Oh, the other fishes. <laughs> we're gonna have to put some more locusts in. Fishes want a locust. Let's put some more in. There's two. Look at them all, they're all coming over. Look at him swim. Look at him go. The little ones want it, but they're too small. He doesn't know what to do. They don't know what to do. Oh, he's going for it. He's going for it. Oh, he's got it. He's only tiny and he's got it. <laughs> he's only tiny. He's like my locust. And all the other fishes want a bit then. <laughs> oh, he's going around with it in his mouth. Oh no, everyone's fighting him now. He's like, now it's mine. Oh, and I'll let the fishes eat them then. Because it looks like they're having fun. And then, uh, I think that's almost it for today. Okay then everybody, my friend, that's all the time I've got for today. So please like, subscribe, comment and share. Ring the bell. If you want to become a member of the tribe, there's a link in the description below. I'm the only one at the moment. Um, if you want to... Um, Contribute towards the channel, commenting and liking and sharing really just help. Uh, if you want to watch another video, there should be one there. If you want to subscribe to the channel, it's up there. And if you want to watch a playlist, it's up there. So I'll see you in the future. Bye.